Now, the next and the final recording mode what we have is the new one, the new one, new recording mode is image based testing in UFT. We will call it as the inside recording. This is implemented from QTP 11.5 onwards. And here there is no option for inside recording. So using the images, it will try to identify the objects. Not using its class, or else not using its properties. Basically, QTP's working principle is it identifies the objects using its properties. Height, text, width. So there are so, so many properties, it's too early to discuss about that, but basically it identifies any object using its class, any elements using its class and lot of properties actually. But here, a new one using this image based identification, now QDP also started to identify the object visually by looking at it, image, clear? Yes. See how QDP supports almost all the languages, but there are few cases like it may not support for few objects. So for that few objects, we will be, we'll be trying to use this kind of techniques. Okay, whole test will be not taken into any inside recording or something like that. Whole test will be generally taken into a normal mode, but wherever needed at the special cases, we will be taking this inside recording or even analog recording also will take in some special cases. Okay, so this UFT has introduced this from 11.5. We'll call this as an inside recording, identifying an object using its images, image based identification. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's discuss this. Inside For this, uh, let me take a calculator application. Basically, uh, QTP team also has taken the same example, the calculator application example. So let us take the same thing. Just click on record. Move on to inside recording. Inside recording. Perform the activity. Click on 8. Click on 5. Same. Click into click on to click on equals to just stop see it has been successfully captured the data but if you can see it here the last one it has captured, so actually I need to click on equal to, but it has captured plus, minus, dot and 3. But if you look at the i, 5, star and 2, it has taken it perfectly. But whenever you come on to this, actually I need to click on that equals to, but it has captured that few other information also. But let's see how it works, if that is the case. But anyway, the first thing, it has identified objects using it image eight clicks on eight clicks on five clicks on multiplication symbol clicks on two clicks on equals two also see you got the result as 170 on the screen it has performed it very well it has identified the object using its image Clear? Yes. So just uh, click on the image. Here. 
it will take you to the object repository. So we'll be discussing about object repository as you move into the subject. It's too early to discuss about that. So simple uh, object repository is a place. See a test object image. This is the image. And for the button, this is the image. Right? Yes. And we can more customize it. See here? Just select the image and just click on this uh, button here. Here we have a small button actually. Just have a look on this. Here. Here. Just click on that. Just click on this. Here we go. It will give us the snapshots. So select the snapshot which you feel the best. You can select any snapshot which you feel the best. Here, it even gives us the option tools. And it even says that where the cursor should be, I mean where the control should be. Customize location, you can see it. Here we have a zoom in also, just zoom in and where you want to click, whether on center or else you can move it. I guess you can see it, uh, this one, right? Location identifier like this. Or else we have a custom location or else we have a center, just click on center. It will click on, it will click on that center of that button. Okay? So here the things, if you want, you can customize it, we can select where the click operation should happen. That is one part and next, here we have the image base and here it is listing out the image. Yes, you can select the best image from this and you can go ahead. The same thing, like where it works actually, in which case it works. See us. If I take this one as an example. Now, so where it should click actually, it should click on that equals to button, right? Yes. So what we need to do, if this is the case, there are the chances that it may not identify that properly. See here, I have a equals to plus three and minus. So this cursor, if I use this as a center, so here it has moved out to the plus symbol here. So I don't want it to be center. I want to customize it. So where this uh, control should be, it should be on the here on the equals to button so that it clicks on the equals clear yes that is what the importance of this control so like this we can select the control to next option so this is what we have in your inside identification so this inside identification can also be used in object uh, what you call descriptive programming we'll be discussing about the descriptive programming later on but as of now, just move on to the tools. In the tools, just move on to the options. UI testing. Here inside. We have a lot of options here. Like save, display mouse operations, show test object, image and steps. Here if I uncheck it, if I uncheck this. If I uncheck this options and click on OK, just have a look on this. All the images from the test pane have been disappeared because I have asked it to just remove the images, right? So if I have that option, if you don't want to show that images in the test pane, yes, you can do that. Just go to option, join, inside, here I go, show test objects in image. If you click on that then the images will be displayed else it will not. And see here how many snapshots should be taken this many before and after the image. Even we can change this value. So what is the pixel? 
we can change that value like this. We have few options here where we can customize it. Okay. Now, so this comes into picture whenever UDP doesn't identify the object using its general mechanism. So there is an object identification mechanism what UDP generally identifies the object using that. If the basically in the circumstances we use this. Okay. Whenever like a better example I can give that whenever you are working on non-standard Windows application. Whenever remotely you are working on other application, other windows, remotely you can work on some other applications. If you are working on some other application where Windows doesn't support it or else where your QTP doesn't support it. If that is the case, in that particular circumstances you can use this inside mechanism also. So for this, let us take uh, Skype as an example and let's uh, try to work on that inside example. Let's see. Let me click on record. Now let's move on to inside recording by clicking on this drop down menu here. We are in default recording mode. Just move on to the inside recording. Okay. Now mm, this is the application what we are trying to test. Click on Skype, enter some name. Just click on the password. Just click on sign in. Stop your test. This several comments. Other than type, see here. Type is in the sense I am writing something into it, right? So other than type, if you can see here, it is trying to identify that object using its image. Using its image. See here. ID. This is the password, right? The image of it. Image of Skype password. I can show you that one. This image, the password image has been captured and even the username's image also has been captured. This and this has been captured. Now whenever we are running it, it will try to use this images. First it will identify this images and in that images it will write the text. That is how it works actually. So no properties, no height, no width, no text, no properties. It will not use any of its properties. Just it matches with the image. If the matches found successful, then it's going to operate on that as simple as. So just click on this. Yes. So here in the object repository, we have the information, and in button, inside user. Now, before that, let me run the test. Let me show you how it works. Now it identifies the object using that images and will try to perform the activities on it.
here. The successfully written uh, username, Skype username.